Hi, I'm Jenny Travieso. I'm one of the minimally invasive gynecologic surgery and pelvic pain specialists. I'm a provider at the UT Health Austin Clinic in the Women's Health Department. I see patients that have often already seen a gynecologist or other healthcare provider, and they have problems such as chronic pelvic pain, fibroids, endometriosis. A lot of them have been struggling with this for a really long time. And then my specialty is performing surgery for them or doing other things they might need to help fix their pain, their heavy bleeding, um, or other problems that are gynecologic. Everywhere in the country is at a different place in subspecialization. So I think the number one question I get asked is, oh, I don't understand what you do. <laughs> you know, especially because we throw on the acronym MIGS a lot, which just stands for Minimally Invasive Gynecologic Surgery. The reason that people do extra training in this is, one, hysterectomy is less common now, which is great, because the reason is that we're finding other ways to handle some of these problems without having to subject patients to a surgery, which no matter how safe we make it, there's never zero risk. Um, and so really I wanted the extra training in doing surgeries. So I do more complex surgeries than the average OBGYN. And then the kind of the best way I can describe it is that, you know, there are some surgeries that are really, really complex. So lots of fibroids, a really big uterus, scar tissue, you've had 10 surgeries before, um, pain without an answer, and then stage four endometriosis is a big one. It's a fairly complex, dangerous surgery because endometriosis is so sticky and can be anywhere. A lot of people can provide those surgeries, but not everyone without additional training can provide them with the small incisions. And so that's kind of the minimally invasive part of things. Generally, I'm a lot of second opinions, you know, A, could you do this with small incisions? You know, B, if there is endometriosis everywhere, can you handle it? And so that's where I pull in my colleagues in urology and colorectal surgery, and we can usually handle just about any endometriosis they can throw at us. And so it's really a matter of just having extra training in doing surgery for women for these problems. And then the pelvic pain was just a benefit of the fellowship I happened to do had a was a pelvic pain center. And so I got a lot of extra training in that, which is really beneficial for endometriosis patients because their pain is not always just those areas. A lot of times they've been in pain for so long that it kind of creeps into other ways that they experience and have to live through pain. And so having that extra training just hopefully, you know, improves my ability to care for women even after surgery because it doesn't end there. Um, it is a chronic condition. The most rewarding aspect is when someone graduates from my care. And that is, I of course want to keep seeing all of my patients, but I really love when someone comes in with one problem and you know we say, great, we need to remove your uterus or remove your fibroid or fix your fertility or get you to have a baby. And we have that one thing and we do the surgery and hopefully, you know, as when everything goes well, it's great. And then they get to go off and go back to their normal care. So kind of the joy of being a consultant where you get to see patients say, that's better. And so that part is really rewarding. And then with pelvic pain, you know, Often it is a patient I'll have for a very, very long time, but when they do get to the point that they're on a steady regimen of what they need to be doing and things get better and they feel like they can return to their regular gynecologist, I think that's really rewarding. So as hard as it is to say bye, it feels good when you find a way to kind of help them with the problem they felt was insurmountable when you first met them.